All right, guys, well, we've got a really good video for you today. I hit a couple of garage sales and thrift stores, and again, a lot of that stuff sells before I even get the video made, so you get to see it picked, purchased, uh, listed, shipped, sold. Do strike that, reverse it this way. The whole process end to end, and this pretty baby. Leave us a like, hit that thumbs up, comment along the way, let me know what you think about what you're seeing, and consider subscribing. Let's get into it. Phillips 66 outboard wood tone collection. This is neat. This uh, funnel tap Lone Star paint thinner. Excellent charcoal starter paint thinner. Huh. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that was the Habitat for Humanity store. Um, I was able to get a couple of things. I expected it to be like 10 bucks walking out the door, but it ended up being more like it was $4. Um, so that was good. Uh, I got this um, book on tape, book on CD. Uh, it's sealed. I don't know anything about it. It's sealed. So that's good. I got this remote. Um, I was thinking it was going to be a dollar. It uh, evidently was less because I got, well, maybe it was a dollar. Maybe every item was a dollar. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So a dollar for the Sony remote. Um, I ended up leaving that Lone Star can because the comps just really weren't there. I got this uh, chainsaw sharpener. It doesn't have a barcode. It's $12. The images look kind of old. So I suspect that it's new old stock. I looked it over. I'm pretty sure everything's in there. Um, that's a that's a solid pickup. I don't know anything about it. Um, and so we'll have to see. And then I picked up this Tupperware um, pitcher um, because it had the lid. They do okay with the lid. Without the lid, it's pretty much worthless. But if you've got a lid, then, uh, then these will sell for like $14, but I paid a $14 plus shipping, but I paid $1 for it. So that, that'll be a tidy little profit for my dollar investment. And that's it. Let's uh, see what else we can do. Yeah, you can look at them and tell. What, did you have a price on that box? I actually just put it out here. Uh, I sell the whole box for five bucks. Well, that's that's the twist my arm and make me take it price. I don't even know what this stuff is. You know, you don't know what exactly yeah, what you're getting. But it's that's, uh, it's mostly. I think I bought them for like trailer lights. Or, uh, actually, I used some of the just the reflectors out of a few other ones. Mm -hmm. Mostly, they're some ambers and yeah. Uh, some bigger yellows and ones that come off school balls. Yeah, those are cool. But these are all, these are actually pretty decent uh, older ones, probably 40s. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, five bucks the whole box be interesting. Yeah, I'll definitely take that. More just kind of regular parts, but most of my stuff's real specific. That's a cool, that's a cool old truck. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's an eye catcher. That's why I put it out here as fucking white. So I'm gonna stick your truck out here. Cause why? So I gotta have some man bait. <laughs> All right, well, that was definitely not a bad stop. I got a box that's got 20 or 25 of these old reflectors off of cars. It was five bucks. And so I suspect I'll make money. I have no idea. That's kind of a odd spec thing. But I like to buy weird stuff that I don't exactly know what it is. That's how you learn. And then there was a box that were Barbie dolls, a dollar a piece, but about two thirds of them, maybe better, were, um, there was 20. And most of them were Monster High dolls, so, and they were in better condition than the one that I got the other day. So hopefully I do well with those too. All right, so I forgot to show you this before I packed it. It's uh, that Tomcat stuff sold pretty quick, $7.99. I had 50 cents into it. It'll cost me $3 to ship. So I'm making like three bucks, but it was almost no work and super easy. And then we have this, which is not impressive to look at, so I'll put it up on the screen. That is uh, an ACG All Conditions Gear by Nike. It's um, sold for $12.99, free shipping, and I think I have 50 cents into it. All right, so next up is these, this little bag. I don't know how well you can see that. There's uh, a Nintendo 64 Rumble Pack and two memory cards both Nintendo branded, uh, sold for $30.75 plus $7.50 shipping. It's a pretty good deal. You guys saw me pick these up for $0.50 cents a piece the other day. They sold to different people. The purple one sold for $9 and the uh, yellow one sold for $9.99. Um, and they'll go out media mail, so they'll cost $2.80 a piece to ship. I know some of you guys were like, seriously, Tom, an old mouse? Nobody wants that which is the, not entirely untrue. Nobody wants to spend any real money on it. Anyway, it sold for $8.99 plus shipping. Uh, paid 50 cents for it. Here's a question that I've had a lot. If I had two of these computer mouse is, what's, what is the plural there? The, if you had two of these together, then are they mouses? Are they mice like mice? Are they, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. All right, and then we have these three Game Genies. I sold them all as a lot for $22 free shipping. I don't really like to test Game Genies, especially unless they have the manual, because for two reasons. First, they aren't worth much working. And second, the Game Genie chip inside there that goes in your pin connector in your Nintendo is way bigger than the games. And so you can stretch your Pin, your pins out and it won't grab your games right you can actually mess up a nintendo putting this thing in there so rather than messing with something that i just worked to make work i just sell game genies untested because normally i don't spend almost anything on them so anyway three sold for 22 dollars free shipping i could have made more money 
but I decided not to. All right, let's talk Zelda. This is a strategy guide from Zelda Link to the Past, and it is kind of rare, hard to find. This one, I'm not gonna show you what's wrong with it because I don't wanna make it any worse. I'll put up pictures. It is, um, it sold for 30. So these in good condition will sell for $75 for this little strategy guide. This one is not in great condition and sold for $30 free shipping. All right, next up is this, uh, I call it a disco shirt. It's kind of polyester. I don't know if I can, if you can see what, the co how huge that collar is. Anyway, it's 417 Van Heusen. Van Heusen is not a brand I would normally pick up. It's like a Penny's house brand for dress shirts. But this is that this is from the late 60s or the early 70s. And still, it didn't bring a lot. $11.99 free shipping. Uh, but I know where I got it, so I only paid a dollar for it. And you guys were with me the other day when I picked up this game for two bucks. It's a bunch of little parts and the instructions and a bunch of big parts. And here, I'll show you some pictures from the uh, listing. It uh, sold for, I had it listed for $67.99, just kind of a shot in the dark. And somebody uh, made me a $50 offer. I figured this, I'm in $2. So $50. So to get $50 on it, I will take that. All right, you guys were with me the other day when I picked up this helmet. I wanted to show you something that maybe you don't know if you're sourcing motorcycle or BMX helmets. This is not a high dollar one, but it's it's clean enough that I think somebody will pay for it. But on here, on the chin strap and not the side that has the buckle, it's, they sh most all of them have this, depending on the almost regardless of the brand. VG2 12-10-84. That is a born on date. And a lot, a lot of motorcycle ha motorcycles have that on the chin strap. So just something to keep in mind. Okay, and so these just go into this tiny poly mailer with a thank you card. And we've got to write on them right away. I'm going to write Purple Singapore because that's the name of this video. It's the purple disc case, and it's called Singapore Beach or something. Sing Singapore Walkways or something. I want to make sure that I don't mix it up with the yellow one that is a tropical beach. They're for walking on treadmills and you get to watch TV and pretend you're walking on whatever, they're sold. And packing that all conditions gear vest, because of what it is, it packs up into its own pocket. I just realized I already have a card in it. I was gonna put a card, but there's already a card inside. Since it's all packed up like a kangaroo, I'm just gonna slide this in a little bitty eBay. Um, poly mailer. Send it out just like that. It's made to be condensed, so here you go. I think I already told you that this Revere Wear sold. $11.99 plus shipping. Here's what we'll do. Put a piece of bubble wrap over the top. Take the lid and put it between and then shrink wrap the lid to the pot. And with that between there, it won't get damaged. Um, they won't scratch each other up. And then I'll just wrap the handle and a little bit more on this, like this. And then there's a thank you card in there and it fits into a priority, a number seven box, but I'll have to cut it down. This is a number seven box, so obviously this little pot fits in here, but it's just exactly the right length. So we will uh, uh, resize the box. Boom, just like that. Um, I just cut this down with 
I just cut these uh, the edges down to the size of a lid and kind of tucked them in all the way around. And that's uh, about as easy as it can be. I filled it with uh, some airbags too. What did you say, buddy? Um, I had two of these. You have two of those? Two air tube inner tubes. And your brother's back there trying to work on a uh, put a new inner tube in his bike. And this mouse just goes into one of these little eBay boxes with a little bit of bubble wrap. You want to make sure that it's not pressing the buttons like clicking because uh, you can get it. You could wear the button out in the time that it's shipping. All right, kids. Well, that's the video for today. Uh, as always, push the thumbs up. Give me a like. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think about mice or mouses. I'm really curious. I've asked a lot of people that question. I don't think anybody has a good answer. And uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? All this great content, you should be subscribing and hitting the notification bell so when I upload a video at one in the morning, your phone goes off. All right, thanks for watching.